Hey, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how, how to take your chlorine using this test kit right here. It's a K2006 pool water test kit. Now, if you don't have this one, you need to get it because this is going to uh, give you the actual numbers and it's the most accurate. Um, now, what I'm going to do first is to go through a dry run. Uh, you need to do that. Well, actually, I need to do that because there's several steps that you need to do. It's not like you, you can put the drops in and then walk away for half an hour, watch TV, and then come back. It has to be one after the other. Um, so anyway, we're just going to go ahead and start with this. This is the vial, and you can see the mills on here. This is my daughter's working the camera, by the way, and it's very, very windy. Uh, but you want to fill it up to the 25 mil mark right here. So uh, you hold the vial straight up and down, you go in the water, about maybe forearm, up your elbow, come back up again, and straight back up. Not this big windmill thing because that's stupid and, and it's show off, but it's dumb and you're not going to get a good reading. So then um, your water is up here. So what you're going to do is just tilt it like this and then you're going to see the, the edge of the water get right down here to the end and then flip it back up again and that's going to hit the 25 mil mark every single time. Then you're going to take your powder, um, this is the DPD powder, in your little scoop. You're going to put two scoops in the uh, sample of the pool water right here. And if there's chlorine present, this sample is going to go from clear to pink. And then you take your brown bottle, this is R0871. And what you want to do is hold it right up at eye level, right here. You don't want to do this. And you also want to get a full uh, dropper, so you want to hold the dropper straight up and down, not to the side. Okay? And now this is where the swirling technique is really, really important. You do not hold it down here and slosh it back and forth. You also don't want to hold it up here and go back and forth like this. You want to get a good swirl technique like that. So when you see the guys doing it, it looks like they're going back and forth, but they're not. They're actually going in a circle. And then you count the drops as your, as your little drop came out, as you're swirling. And this is going to go from pink to clear. And you count the number of drops. So say you put in um, uh, 10 drops. So it's simply, you just multiply that times 0 0.2, and that gives you your chlorine reading. So if you put in 10 drops, that would be 2.0 chlorine. If you put in, say, uh, 12 drops, that would be 2.4. And that's it. So let's go ahead and do it. So just going to go ahead and put this down in the water. Come straight back up again. And then if you just watch this, I'm just going to pour this out like this right until this water gets right to this 90 degree mark right there, right there. And that is your 25 mil mark. That's halfway. So, what's it going to come down here? All right. So now I'm going to take two scoops of the powder, put it in the sample, and that turns pink. All right. So, remember, don't hold it down here and slosh it back and forth. You want to get that swirling technique. So that turns pink, so that means that chlorine is in there. So I'm going to turn, turn this way, okay? So I'm going to take it, the brown bottle R0871, flip it straight up and down, and start counting. So again, what, what you're doing, there's several things that you're doing right now. You're, um, you're, you're swirling, you're counting, and you're watching this to go from pink to clear. So I've already done one drop. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and let's go one more, and 10. All right, and that went clear. So I put in 10 drops. So multiply that times 0 0.2, and that is 2.0. So I have my chlorine at 2.0. Now, what's it supposed to be? Between one and a half to three and a half parts per million. 
So that is right in line. So that's how you take your chlorine using your K2006 for water test kit. So like, subscribe, and comment. Check the description box below. Link to my website, cleanfoamspot.com. Lots of great information over there. And until next time, be safe and happy swimming. Bye.